Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. I'm really pleased to speak to this debate today because it clearly exposes the fact that the only second-rate NBN in Australia is the one that was going to be delivered by Labor. The party who went in government promised one thing but then delivered little more than press releases and promises that stretched into the never-never land for years, Mr Deputy Speaker. It's no exaggeration to say that under the previous Labor government, the NBN was one of the most poorly managed projects in the history of the Commonwealth. When they announced it with great fanfare, then Prime Minister Kevin Rudd and Minister Conroy extravagantly promised that the rollout would be complete by 2018 and would cost the government no more than $26 billion. And of course, Labor representatives in my electorate on the Central Coast did the same. In April 2013, former Labor MP Deborah O'Neill and Minister Conroy came to Gosford and pushed a great big red button on the Gosford waterfront, <laughs> claiming our region was open for business thanks to the NBN. In fact, the then member for Robertson said, we love this town and we love where we live, but we need jobs and we needed something to transform this area. It's time to come to Gosford and do some business, she said. Well, it is time to come to Gosford and do business, and so it's pretty ironic, I have to say, to say, see Senator O'Neill now actively campaigning against the Turnbull government's commitment to deliver 600 new federal jobs into Gosford. But I digress, Mr Deputy Speaker, because while Labor claimed their NBN was a magic bullet, when the gloss of the press release and the shiny red button wore off, it was a mess. It was a mess around Australia and it was a mess on the Central Coast. For instance, despite Labor's claims on the coast that a massive 90 per cent of premises in and around Gosford, and you may wish to listen to this member's office because this is your record, a massive 90 per cent of premises in and around Gosford were so-called open for business for the NBN. In actual fact, 90 per cent of them were classified as service class zero or service class one, oh, meaning that despite the fanfare, despite the press release, a lot of work was required before those people who actually wanted a service could actually connect. What's even worse, despite all of this fanfare during the election and during, during their time in government, when we came into government, Mr Deputy Speaker, there were a little more than 200 premises connected in my electorate. What a fast, Mr Deputy Speaker, to tell businesses and families that Gosford was open for business, only to discover that, despite Labor's press releases, they couldn't actually access it at their premise. In fact, Labor was so obsessed with delivering fibre to the press release in Gosford, they forgot that the focus in unlocking super-fast broadband is supposed to be about actually getting residents, businesses and families actually connected. Mr Deputy Speaker, Labor sold people in my electorate a dud deal. In contrast, this coalition government has spent more than two years cleaning up the mess in my electorate and around Australia. We have sought to clean up the mess home by home, piece by piece, the mess left to us by those opposite, while at the same time rolling out the NBN to more homes and businesses sooner, cheaper and much more reliably than Labor. This government has got a responsible strategy to roll out a more affordable multi-technology mix. The case for the multi-technology approach, Mr Deputy Speaker, is actually quite clear. It's far better for productivity on the Central Coast, for instance, to get fast broadband to premises quickly than to deliver extremely fast broadband to just an exclusive few years and years down the track. It's like waiting for Godo, Mr Deputy Speaker. But you can see the benefits of the Turnbull government's approach in the NBN's latest half-yearly results, as the member for Hindmarsh alluded to, because they reveal initial customer research that shows a level of satisfaction with broadband services delivered through fibre to the node technology are the same as those using the gold-plated fibre to the premise. Now, I grant you, Mr Deputy Speaker, our approach involves far less fanfare than members office it. But the half-yearly results are a ringing endorsement of our approach. And in fact, the NBN rollout is accelerating, with 1.7 million homes and businesses now able to order a connection. We are finally back on track with the NBN rollout, with plans to expand the footprint by 15,000 premises per week, rising to 25,000 per, um, per week by middle of, year, of the year. And ultimately, of course, Mr Deputy Speaker, the goal is to connect 8 million premises by 2020 across all access technologies. But let me spend just a few remaining seconds I have, Mr Deputy Speaker, letting people know, letting members know, opposite know, the record that we have delivered to my electorate in just two short years. In my electorate, we now have more than 67,000 premises on the rollout schedule, 
or already connected, and around half of these are only weeks away from being ready for service, not simply passed but ready for service in more than 20 suburbs like Woi Woi, Empire Order. Bay, Pearl Beach, Saratoga.